What's going on? Hello. So people know I didn't reach out to you. You reached out to me, right? Yeah, yeah. I reached out to you. And you told me you yes, wanted to talk about yeah. Muhammad and praying to Muhammad, right? Yes. Okay. Why do you want to talk about that topic? Because uh, the last time I saw you talking to someone about that, that guy was not like very knowledgeable about Islam. Neither are you. Yes. So, so why would you attack him for not being very knowledgeable? And you know, you're not that knowledgeable. I would say I'm more knowledgeable than him. I don't think so. Because before I reached out to you, you said you're performing pr prayer, right? Yes. And in your prayer, you do tashahud, right? Yes. Okay, so when tashahud, what do you say to your prophet? Assalamu alaikum, your nabi, you mean that part, right? Translate it. Peace be upon you, O prophet. So you are talking to him, right? No. See, this is where I say you're playing games with me. If I bring you the Muslims who say, yes, you are speaking to him, and that even when you speak to him, an angel is assigned to him to let him know in his grave, that they are greeting you. Do you want me to do that? Muhammad ibn al Yaqubi and Hamza Yusuf. So now be honest again. When you say, Assalamu alaikum, who are you talking to? I ain't talking to anybody. I'm just praying yes, for you him. Are. You're talking to him. How would, how would you say I'm talking to him? Because you're speaking yeah. to him directly. You're saying, peace be upon you. If you're praying for him, you'll say, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Or you'll say, peace be upon him. You'll say, alayhi salam. You don't say, alayka, you're talking to him. You understand the difference now? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, so there's something called tawassul in Islam, okay? I know that. I agree with you. So you're not Salafi then? Yeah, I'm not a Salafi. Oh, okay. So you believe in tawassul? Yes, I believe in tawassul. Excellent. So that's but my look, point. In tawassul, yeah, in tawassul, there are many parts that Sufis believe in that I don't believe in. Uh, I don't care about Sufis. I'm talking about those authentic hadiths that yes. you have people going to the grave to, of your prophet and speaking to him and asking him to pray for them, like the hadith of Utbi. Uh, what's the narration of that hadith, that chain of narration? If you may check, there is someone... Ibn Kathir cites it and doesn't say it's da'if or mawdu'. He cites it. Hamza Yusuf is now going to appeal to that hadith of Utbi. And not only Hamza Yusuf, others who are not Salafi appeal to the hadith mentioned by Ibn Kathir and Ut Utbi showing you tawassal is Islamic. If it was da'if or mawdu', they would not cite it. Get to the point of them going to the grave of your prophet and speaking to your prophet. That's the point I want you to address. Yes, they went to the grave of Prophet. Uh, they were suing for him because God knows the, uh, their intention that they're taking the of the Prophet. Do you understand? I don't care about your intention. Do you agree that in Orthodox Sunni Islam, you can go to the grave of your Prophet and speak to him and ask him to pray for you? That's all I'm trying to establish. Whether your intention is that, I don't care. Do you accept that practice unlike the Salafi? Yeah, yes. Oh, so you do. So I don't need to prove it to you, right? Yes, yes, obviously. That's just only the extreme Salafis that believe in it. So he is trying to explain to those Muslims who think this is grave worship or that this is contacting the dead, committing shirk, sure, they don't know what they're talking about. Hamza Yusuf and others have quoted this because it's authentic. Whether they mentioned the Senate or not, if it wasn't authentic, Ibn Kathir would have criticized it. He didn't. So here's a man who comes to the grave of your dead prophet and he speaks to him. Are you okay with that? No, I'm not okay with that. But it is in Ibn Kathir. It's not a forged narration. It's mo it's not Maudu. It's not even Da'if. It's cited by Ibn Kathir and even Hamza Yusuf and others to show that's how you apply chapter 4 verse 64. You just said you're not Salafi. So that means you need to show me why you reject what this narration says when those who believe in Tawassul approve it. And it's not just Hamza Yusuf, I gave you this other gentleman. Because because I'm a Deo I follow Mona Shafiq Thanwi, if you know him. Have you read about him? You follow Deo Mundi. Can you now give me an official statement from him, your scholar, your sheikh, that says that this hadith in Ben Kathir, we reject. Give me the statement. I don't have it ready, you know, okay? It may Go find it. Way. Okay, did you find the narration, buddy? It actually said that it's, uh, it is allowed. Say it again? It is allowed. So why were you debating me? I was debating you for the video I found of you in, uh, using the... No, hold on. No, 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 no. No, yeah. no, no. Don't go there. When I told you this is sound, that you can go to the grave of your prophet, you kept no, 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 and now you confirmed I was right, right? Yes, I was wrong. So why are you debating me when I'm right? Why don't you get to the point so I don't have to waste time? You know more than me, obviously. Like You have more okay, experience so, than me. You're older than me. Okay, but Saad, then, then answer the question. When I give you a narration, don't ask me about Sennet. I'm not going to give you something weak. I'm giving you something your scholars say is valid. So now, at least you're honest enough that you admit to everyone, this is sound. You can go to the grave of your prophet. My yeah. objection was, you Muslims, you speak to Muhammad, you go to Muhammad, and you talk to Muhammad even though he's dead. You just admit I'm right. Yes, yes. Okay, so why are you debating me? You're agreeing I'm right. W why would you say that's wrong in the first point? Because according to Muhammad, not me, not my tradition. My tradition yes. is not your tradition. When you make dua, what is dua? Asking, right? Yes, pray, prayer. And what did he say dua is? What did he say dua is? Supplication, dua is for God. 
No, no, he said dua is ibadah. Yeah, ibadah also. Yeah. Okay, so so everyone knows. He said supplication is worship, right? No, is worship. It should not be right. Is a form of worship. He didn't say that. He said Just is worship. He didn't say form. He said at dua huwa al ibadah. It is worship. Those are his words. Why are you correcting him? No, he said at dua u ibadah. Yes, is it's not al. Here we go again. Stuck for if I give you the hadiths and the Muslim translating it saying is worship, and if I play Sheikh Asim Al Hakim who says that dua is worship, why are we playing with the grammar? Okay, go on. Okay, so do I need to prove that too? Are you gonna make me now waste 10 minutes on proving a point that you should admit? No, you should go on. So do we agree that according to your prophet, dua and in invocation, supplication is worship, it's ibadah? Yes. So guys, he at least now he's admitting it. So one more time so we can understand my argument. Dua, invoking, supplicating someone is worship, right? Yes. So why do you worship Muhammad then? Because you make dua to him. <laughs> That's so actually pretty funny because I have answered that. Okay. What? Not with you, not with you, yes. Let me tell you, a dua or ibadah here means, uh, uh, it actually means the meaning, you have to understand the meaning deeply. Yeah, he's going to have go on 14 year old is going to explain to me what Muhammad meant. Now I'm going to show them what Muhammad said. Okay, good, good job, as I'm going to show them what your prophet said. And then I'm going to play Asim al-Hakim who says that dua is worship. That's why you, you Sufis, you are committing shirk. But go ahead, I'll let you explain it away. Wait, Asim al-Hakim is a strict Salafi. I would not hear anything he says. Who cares, buddy? It's the evidences, right? I'm dealing with the evidences. I don't care what he is. I'm dealing with the evidences. And he's right because the evidence is here. But go ahead. Try to tap dance around this. Okay. So a dua okay. it does not mean supplicating to someone is an ibad. A dua okay, no, 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 that's not what I said. That's not what I said. Here it is. You said someone. Supplication is worship. Okay. But you told me, no, it's a form of worship. That's not what it says. Why were you changing some, the words of your prophet? Some words may have other meanings. Oh, God, can you go and maybe do homework? You're wasting my time. Let's try it again. I have a test. Your prophet you. said supplication is worship. Yes. Okay. Al Adab al Mufrad al Bukhari. You yes. told me no, it's a form of worship. So now you're going to correct yourself saying I'm mistaken? I'm not mistaken. Some words may have other meaning of meanings. Oh, okay. Is dua worship? Yes or no? Yes. And here it is again. This is it. An-Numan bin Bashir, Neri, the Prophet said, supplication is worship. And then what does he quote? He quotes the ayah. Call upon me, I'll respond to you. Verily, those who, who scorn my worship, they will surely enter hell. Humiliate. Sahih. This is Sahih. So you don't say, oh, man, it's, uh, it's Daif, brother. This hadith is Hassan Sahih. Now here's the commentator. This comes from English translation, Jami Tirmidhi. Okay, so you can see volume 6, pages 102, 103, and it's online. Supplication is worship in itself, as supplication is the essence of worship. Okay, so let's stop the games. You just said that you can go to your prophet in the grave and ask him, supplicate him, which is what dua is, to pray for you. So this is dua to your prophet. But your prophet said dua is worship. So why are you worshiping him? How could I be worshiping when I'm, when I'm asking him to, worship, to pray for me? So when you ask Allah for something, is that dua? Yes. So then even part of your worship is to ask Allah. This is why your prophet said dua is worship. He said it, not me. So the, when the you go to ask a dead man to pray for you, you are <clears throat> making dua to a dead man. And he said dua is worship, not me. 